dealing with. We're on the air now. I don't think all he's right. wet behind the ears at all. I think he's an asshole, to be honest with you. I, I don't know enough of him. I don't care to know anything else about the guy. The guy's an asshole. Yeah, I mean... Because uh, L.A. Shooter gave a link to a video tonight put out by his sister. And I got the hiccups. And his sister blew the whistle on him. He's an absolute jerk. And she... I'm fixing a hiccup again. I never have the hiccups. <laughs> and she was saying that he was horrible. Horrible. So who, who, okay, you had another guy in there, Governor something, and he's the one who is doing something with uh, a trolling on – what is not trolling, I'm sorry. What's he doing on YouTube? It's a group of people. This Edward right. Hubbard belongs to a group of people on YouTube that all met up from listening to a show on there called uh, the McJugger Nuggets. McJugger Nuggets, all right. Well, it's a pretty popular show. He's he's up there in the millions. He gets millions of hits, and he's just this stupid guy that, that was does... that the guy that you were speaking to yesterday. No, 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 show. no, 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 no. That was okay. one. They're just a group of, of fans of the show that I was talking to, and Edward Hubbard pulled us in by saying, "Oh, I'm being cyber bullied, Debbie. Help me, help me." And I found out the skinny on this guy. This guy does this. He. He was just using me to get listeners, and by saying, oh, help me, help me, help me, he just found one of the popular shows. Mm -hmm. And finally, what you do say all the time about it, it, it came to fruition. This guy actually did this shit. <laughs> Man. Yeah, and I found out from a lot of people, they were like, oh, Debbie, don't you even get sucked into his shit. And then I go over there defending him and white knighting him to this asshole named... Well, he's not an asshole now, but I thought the governor, I was like, what are you doing bullying him? And this guy, you know, it just a, just a, you know, the, <laughs> yeah, the guy scammed me. And, and then he comes, and then after I go over and white night and, and take up for him to this guy named, um, what was his name? Governor. Then he goes on his show and goes, leave my friend, the governor alone, Debbie. And I thought, this is fucked up. This is weird. All right. So you're talking about the, with, with the one with uh, Bill Wagner on, right? Yes. That's all right. So, so I caught that show. I listened to it at, like I said, four in the morning when I got home from work. And um, I obviously heard what he had said on the prior show with you, this kid, yep. Ed. Yep. And um, it was two polar opposite things. And, and if, but if you listen to the progression of this show, Bill Wagner was feeding this kid, this guy, or he, he's probably a grown man. I'm sorry. Yeah. All this shit. Bill Wagner was the, and then, and then Bill Wagner comes on your show and says, I never said anything bad about you. Oh, and he also denied on, on Ed's show that he had that. What did he say? He said something like this. Well, no, when I, when I was on Debbie's show and, and we were fighting, you have to understand that that's what these people do. You know, they, they pit people against each other. And I thought, what yeah. the fuck? I didn't say anything. He oversteps me and starts cussing his kid out. He went after him. Once he stuttered, he was all over him. Yeah, he goes, hey, stutter he, boy. Hey, stutter boy. What are you doing, you you, you faggot? And yeah, then he, he blames me. Went insane on him for no Bill reason Wagner at all. Is, Bill Wagner is insane. I mean, he'll lie. I mean, he will lie straight to his mother's face. You know, I mean, I could not believe it. Bill Wagner proved himself to be a fucking idiot this week on Spreaker, if you ask me. This was one of his worst weeks ever, and he's had some pretty fucking bad weeks. And then he and tells that's, people, that's Steve, a lot. Steve, 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 Steve. He tells people that the re he tells people that I hired people in the BWC to have him killed, and five thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, and that I I was jealous of his show on Blog Talk Radio, and so I that's why I I don't like him and stuff. And I'm like, oh sure. my god. And then the very fucking next day, he comes on your show like oh, nothing Debbie, ever happened. I didn't happened. say that, Debbie. I love you, Debbie. Debbie, you know that. You know, and I'm going. <laughs> well, well, Deb, Deb, you know, you know, um, Man, that's you so know, I, I would, I, I, I would, I've said some stuff, but I would never have said anything like that. You're like, it's your own voice. I know. Uh, that, that's just. Uh, how do you? How do you? How do you retract from that? Psychotic behavior, dude. Jewish producer was going to come on uh, with. Oh, that'd be awesome. I know. I love JP. JP is the cookie in my cookie jar. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's my little. He's, he's, a, he's a great dude. He's, he's, he's just amazing. He's my flower cookie. He's, 
Yeah. Um, I, you know, some people are looking a little bit nicer. When, when, you know, when the Bill Wagners of the world come out of the woodwork well, again? Bill Wagner other pe- and other Angela. People's. Bill Wagner yeah. and Angela. Ugh. Ugh. Those people haven't changed over the years. I mean, there's been times, you know, we've all had our ups and our downs, but those people yeah. are just in the garbage. Here's what it is, if, if you ask me. Um, they're, not, they're incapable of change. Man, they can't. It can't happen Bill for one Wagoner reason or another. Made it, me just, dizzy. it can't change. Bill it Wagoner made me dizzy this week on Spreaker.com, the lies he was telling. I mean, it was so blatant. He knows that you listen to this <clears> stuff. <throat> Excuse me, Dave. I'm sorry. He knows, he knows that one of us are going to be listening to it and catch it. And the shit you said about me, Bill, because I know you're going to listen to this if you aren't already. You, you know it's all blatant bullshit, and you know I'm not a homosexual, and you know – you. you you could say I live wherever I live or don't. You could get down me all you want. It doesn't mean anything to me. You're the one that has to live with this shit. You're the one that has to deal with it at the end of the day because I know the truth. I know me. You should be worried about you. Debbie knows who Debbie is. Debbie knows who her family is. Um, and all the Angela, shit that you said. Angela Utley calls me her stalker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where, wonder where she got that from. That's my stalker, she says. My stalker. She wishes. Fucking it. And I just, just, I wish those two would get married. It would just be awesome. Worst marriage ever. Oh, I think it'd be a match made in heaven, Steve. Uh, yeah, I wonder who would be the co-host on that show. Jesus Christ. Train wreck, man. Just a complete train wreck. I, like I said, I heard some things this week that uh, defied logic, defied reason. Like, like I'm saying, okay, if you were doing it for a reason, I get it. You know, if he was trying to do his own show and he says, okay, I want you to come here and I'm going to build up numbers because I'm going to use Debbie like everybody else does because that's the biggest voice out here. So, I, like I used to be. <laughs> he said he had a he had a career in politics and in in in, in radio. <laughs> don't, don't don't forget yeah yeah and oh i love the one line he used i'm not i don't know it verbatim so forgive me but he said within seconds i can have millions of people at my fingertips all a right spoken word has a certain amount of power <laughs> yeah it does well it's called it's called a sky was it a sky box? A bottle was it? Was it? Yeah. Well, you know, yeah, Joe that. Seeker said whenever she goes into the uh, liquor store to buy her liquor, that all the Sky Vodka bottles start shaking. <laughs> they start trembling <laughs> off the shelf. <laughs> they're they, plum- up- they, they plummet to their death. They're going to end up in her arse. <sighs> arse. Oh, he's great. Uh, I, I listened to him last night, and it's a shame Lethal came in, and those those two don't get along very well. But um, and, and, really and Joe even said, "I'm not in the mood to fight." What did you say, bathtub girl? I have some really explosive secrets. Some really explosive secrets. Really? My kids are once again on vacation and (laughs) been quiet here. Is that what they call it? Is that what they call CPS in Oklahoma vacation? (laughs) Is that code for vacation? Oh, Lord, help me. You know, sometimes you just got to get down on 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 the ground to fight a snake, you know? Either that or just pound them into the ground. Because, well, you know, it, here's the thing. You really don't have to because they do it to themselves. Uh-huh. Oh, absolutely. It they're self, they're self-deprecating. They, they, they can't stand their own lives, so they go into yours and they tear yours up. So they think, but really they're fucking themselves up. But they don't get it. So in their mind, they feel like there's a victory somehow. And, and nobody's beat you. And they're trying. And biting me in the ass everywhere I go. Yeah, it's true, hon. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't sit there. Okay, I'll move over here then. Is this better? I have been in my home. And- Me too. It's funny. It's right where I'm at. I'm in my home. What are the odds? Mm-hmm. We're making a soundboard here. I mean, this isn't just anything. Listen to this one. Really explosive secrets. You know how she's always got something that's going to happen big about the dumpster. You mean like her pregnancy? Oh. I wonder what that baby looks like. I wonder what tiny Speak sky up, bottles heard, look like. Take action. Speak up, be heard, take action. For God's sake, don't sit on the sidelines. 
It's a good point. That's where the cheerleaders are, and they're all so, they're such whores. I'm writing this down so that way I can live my life better. Word, oh my God, Words of Wisdom by Bill and Angela. And now we're, I'm seeing the fruits of my labor. <laughs> no, that's called ne- Bad Coke. I never want to see your fruits ever again. I'm never watching another one of your videos. Oh, you want to hear, <laughs> you want to hear, take a hit of cocaine, listen, be real quiet. Oh, my goodness. No, wait, it's not that one. It's this one right here. Okay, wait, where is it? Here it is. Okay, wait, no. Here, okay, be real quiet. Excuse me. <laughs> that was definitely an inhale, wasn't it? It sounded like one nostril. Uh, it, sounded, it sounded like some coke going up. <laughs> Look at JP's picture. What, what lovely person's calling in now? Hey, Great yeah. audio. <laughs> that was <laughs> JP taking a hit of cocaine. Hey, JP, what's up, buddy? Hey, uh, Steve, I guess you're up uh, really late. Early. Uh, I just got, just got home. I just got I home live. from work. Nice. There was not a synagogue where I lived. Oh. Ooh, she must have lived in, in the poor part of town. I mean, I don't know. Oh, you could walk outside and feel the wetness. <laughs> That's great. You walk outside and feel a little wetness. Jewish producer, listen. I have some really explosive secrets. Mm, it's about Pimpat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Who just laughed? I mean, that was his background. Yeah, I don't know. Who was no, that? About a troller. Wait a minute. Is there a third person on the line here? I'm Mad Dog 61, and I never listen to the Debbie Daly Show, and that's a fact. Yeah, that's another good guy right there. Yeah, I love the shit out of him. Is that that's some good ones. No, this is Mad Dog. This Bartholomew Jones, and I just want you to know that I never listen to the Debbie Daly Show. That's a fact. The king is breaker himself, ladies and gentlemen. Number Lester one voice. Yep. Ah, that's a great voice. You know, if we had a council of Spreaker, it would be Guy Shea sits on the throne, and to his right is Lester Bartholomew Jones, and to his left is Billy Badass, and to his left, I mean, it's just, there's some guys on here that I would have on my side any day of the fucking week, you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. You're listening to Inflammatory Talk with Mr. Midnight Movie and Jewish Producer, live on Spreaker, every time. Live on Spreaker every time. What does it every mean? Every time. Every, not every other time. Every time. You know something? I think the What the Fuck crew wants you, JP. No, no, no. You know, I think they're they're playing they're, they're playing numbers right now. They're trying well, to they're, weed out the weak from the strong. They're, play, they're flirting with all my boys. <laughs> and only one took the bait. My husband, Joe Seeker. They're having fun. I got you know, married like, this week, Steve. I heard. I listened to the show. We Congratulations, can't. by the Thank way. Thank you very much. You need to send us a Who's present. Who's the lucky guy? Joe Seeker. Oh, uh, oh boy. That's going to end in disaster. No, it's not. I, would, I don't think so. If I married I, I, Chris I, Nelson, it would. Me and Chris Nelson would kill each other. Chris Nelson is a, is a, is a woman abuser. He's testosterone driven or something. Oh, that guy's fucking raging. He rages. This midnight movie calls him a, p- a pussy beggar. <laughs> more, like a, more like more like a pit bull on estrogen, think. a pit bull on estrogen. He is a pussy beggar. He's something else. I'll tell you what he told me. He said, I, "I'm gonna ride your coattails into fame." I said, "Well, you know, whatever." Right, at, right, right on your show with you. That was mm-hmm. fucking hysterical. And then tell me, to <laughs> and shut- you're like, you're like, what did you say? And then tell me to shut the fuck up. And Jimmy Lethal goes, Debbie, who's this guy on here niggering? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't know how you did. By the way, you did uh, you did two very good impressions just now. I don't know how you do that, but uh, your your uh, first impression was incredible. Um, who was it? What's his name? I don't, me. Yes, yes. Your impressions are great. Tonight. Jimmy was drunk last night, and he goes like this. He goes, "Debbie, why are you niggering?" <laughs> That's Jimmy when he's drunk. 
<laughs> he was so drunk. He was man. so drunk. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. When isn't he? No, he no. was especially gone last oh, night. Oh, he went a little, little bit over. Yeah, he was over. He, if, even for by his standards, he was drunk. And I was trying to talk to that guy called the governor. And no, but do a Chris Nelson impression. You can do a great Chris Nelson. I do. Yeah, you, you don't really try. That's but you do a really good one. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, you do. Do I really? I'm not just I'm not just uh, being playing games here. I'm not I'm not trolling you. I am serious. I, I need that skill. I need to loosen up my vocals and and just kind of go for it sometimes. But you you've got it. Hmm. I'm not, I I don't know what you talk. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, it's great. You got to hear it. Do it. Come on. Do do one. Oh, when he was talking to Lester. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I, I don't know. No, oh, just Debbie, get you... this smuck stain off the show, off the air. That one, those kind of, those kind of drops. I don't know. I, I didn't know I could do Chris Nelson. You do a a good Chris Nelson, but it, it's only when you're not really trying to. You just kind of do it. Yeah, I kind of can't get put on the spot. You know, it just, just kind of comes whenever yeah, I'm absolutely. Not saying it to never. Do it now. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Steve. Next time it strikes you, voices. No voices. I do. I do an impression. Just absolutely. You have to be in that moment, though, because that's how voices usually get. You you find it. You could do them. Steve. And then you could train yourself. Steve. Steve. Stop niggering. (laughs) I like Jimmy. That that, that's that's pretty good. (laughs) Oh my God, Jimmy was killing me last night. I go, Jimmy, and he goes, What, mommy? I said, Shut up. He did say, What, mommy? I was laughing my ass off. He goes, Mommy, what did I do? I said, You're being rude to our customers. (laughs) <laughs> you said that's why we can't have anything nice. Yes. And I noticed the <laughs> What the Fuck crew said that tonight. They kind of echo what I do on this show sometimes. I, I thought I heard them say that in their show. Yeah, actually, get, your own, get your own uh, Get your own. content. Are they cheese nibbling? They're cheese nibbling. Oh, boy. No, well, you know. Fucking funny. Yeah, that's right. And I got some messages from Jimmy today on Skype. He was so cute. He was like, Debbie, why are you being, why aren't you having fun on Skype? What's the matter with you? Jimmy just, I just think he's the absolute shit. I don't know why I just do. Some people hate his guts. I think he's cute. He, he, I don't know. To me, he's catch and go. You don't know what you're going to get. He's completely, and I think that makes you interesting. That makes you valuable out here to be not be able to really pinpoint him because he has different views victor says and celtic brony says you are at your best debbie you would dominate this 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 podcasting world if you would just let go and be who you are and just quit worrying about what people think about you you know absolutely true absolutely true i've only said that's i don't know for every day since we've talked hey man today on my show on lightning radio um, one of my lighting radio. One of my friends called in, and his name is Markel. And you want to talk about a bad motherfucker? I'm here to tell you both. I don't care who any of you are. If you saw this guy, you would turn around and walk the other way. And he mm-hmm. is as good as gold. He loves his mama. He attends church. But let me tell you something. This kid. I would I would put all of my money in one basket on this kid, and he hasn't come around for so long. And he called me, and goes, he goes, Daddy, if Mark Kelly was up, dude. I mean, it was like I, I could barely understand some of the things he was saying. But he has been writing, producing, and directing music mm. and making videos. And he made a video. He produced the video and made the video. And I'm not telling. I'm not just saying this because it, because it's him. And he called me. This kid's got some freaking talent. When well, what I, type of music? Well, uh, when I saw this, I was like, "Son of a biscuit!" You know what? We're fixing to go over. I bet tonight we're gonna get. We're gonna hit two hundred thousand listens, plays. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. I bet it because we're at one hundred and ninety nine thousand eight hundred and forty. Come on, people! Oh, tell a friend, people! Tell a friend! Don't forget to click like on the way out. Click like. What did Lester say? And don't forget to hate Debbie on the way out. Yeah, there you go. I was stealing from him. 
your cheese nibbling is my love love sauce. Uh, cheese nibbling. Hey, I'm like, where'd Joe, you get that from? Joe. Oh, that's an original JP line. That is, is my it really? ri- You know what, though? Urban Dictionary re- rejected it. I've got to refine my, my definition. So uh, one day we'll have to sit down and, uh, and rewrite my – I have a very good definition for cheese nibbling. They rejected my beta cut. Think I'm a word or two off, I think, from really nailing it. It just depends you on know. who you get in, when it comes yeah. into – yeah. Doesn't they, it have to have a certain amount of popularity before it could be considered – they rejected so, you, Beta Cuck, and I came up with Beta Cuck. Y'all can all blow me. No, I know you did. You were the first one to say it. Yep. I, I, was, I remember you, you just took a few words and put it together, and it worked. It was when Goose was on the show, and he kept talking about uh, cuckles, and I kept yeah. talking about beta males, and I said, they're Beta Cucks, and I thought yeah. Goose was going to fall off the back of his fucking chair. Yeah, he loved that. <laughs> I, love I remember him, and he called it, and he said, "He said that was the coolest. Thing. I love that. That's really good. I'm going to use that." I love when he giggles. Everybody thinks Goose is an asshole. Everybody thinks Goo, Goo, he's kind of goofy and shit. I'll tell you what, he's really a good guy. I would date Goose. If don't I was, don't if I was don't piss years, him off. I'll just say that. Years, don't piss him off. If I was 20 years younger, I would go after Goose in a heartbeat. Him and Celtic Brony. Whew. You want to talk about hot? That's Celtic Brony. Woo. It, yeah, well, I, 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 yeah. I, rem- I remember Celtic Brony when he fucking did the shows with us when he was like 18, 17. I remember when he was rooming with cactus, with flavored cactus in a dormitory in, uh, in, yeah, in where he is. I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, exactly. No, they um, were in a dorm room and they would call me on. They would call me on webcam. They go, "Hey, Debbie." It was cactus, uh, flavored cactus, and Celtic brownie were. were oh, there. I remember flavored cactus. Oh, he yeah. hated cactus. you. He hated you. That's an old you. name. That's a good name. He okay, hated hey, I'm gonna, you. I'm, all right, I have a, I have a quiz for the two of you. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. And I, I I bet that neither one of you will get it. I now, think you know, I'm gonna get it tonight. I feel very confident tonight. All right. You this talking? Is, you this talking, has this Jackie? has to do with me and one other person on 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 um, Blog Talk Radio. Mm, okay. and it, it it bled a little bit into uh, Spreaker as well. This is my least favorite person of all time. Nature Boy. No. no Maybe no. five guesses each. Okay. okay. Uh, go on. Debbie, give us some more clues. This is just my least favorite individual ever. Um, Monkey shoes. Two and. Ralph Orama. And, and three. You're gone. lying out of your ass. I Bullshit. swear to Bull God, when I say this shit. name, you're gonna you're, you, you won't even know. Bullshit. What? I, I you you think I like these people that you're mentioning? No, I don't like these people you're mentioning. I but know, this but... person super exceeds them. I don't know why. It's just I want I fucking hear the voice, and I fucking want to crawl through the microphone and kill him. And it's not Nature Boy. No. I know. I know exactly. I can't Nature think of Boy anybody is. right now. Damn it! My my brain. Go back. Is... Go backwards. Go backwards. All I'm saying is go backwards. Don't you go forward. You hated the when... fuck out of Ralph Arama. Of course I did, because he was a complete dick to me. <laughs> 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 he really was. <laughs> if you was treat good. me like shit, I'm not gonna like you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Too. You're not gonna be on my Christmas list, motherfucker. <laughs> he would wrestle your jimmies. Asshole. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so this one person, for some reason. I'm out of guesses, dude. All right. Give us a clue. Give we need clue. more clues. All right. Here, this this should really bring it close. It's a what was female. The guy it's a thing? female. Oh. Female. Bathtub girl, no? No. You know, she isn't worth hating. Yeah, it's it goes beyond, I feel. Um Boy, who could be worse than than Moxie? Moxie? No. Um, That'd be a one more desert. Guess. Desert Rose. Not even close. I Nikki know. smokes a lot. Melissa Hopkins. No. Uh no. Um, I'm out oh. of girls. Who are those two lesbians that had a show? Uh, Boo you guys are so fucking. Hope. You're so close, Deb. Debbie's close. Wait, what was the last one she said? Melissa Hopkins. <laughs> oh. It's in that era. It's in that era where, where the popularity was there for this this uh, piece of fuck. Oh, 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 Jeep girl. Mm, I don't know if she used that name. It's a secondary name. 
No, it wasn't Jeep Girl. Because uh, Jeep Girl used um, multiple names, but I don't I, think it was Jeep Girl. This was Jeep Girl. Uh, hi, guys. I'm so No, 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 no. no. Just, oh, no, yeah, I remember. Of course not. No, no, she didn't bother me at all. Uh, I can't think of anybody else. Yeah, how about initials? Can you give us initials? I'm out of bullets. Who? Yeah, just give, give you us can't do that. If I give you the initials, you'll instantly have it. Com- all right, how about this? Completely narcissistic, absolutely fucking believed she knew everything. Oh, was, was it, vicious. Uh, she was vicious. Was she um, black? No. Uh, uh, Fire Witch? Another name? Um, M- uh, Fly Girl MD80? No. Fuck! Fly Girl MD80? What? There's been a lot of fucking females out here, you guys. Hmm. Uh, did she come at me? He, at, at one one point or another, yeah. She turned oh. her back again. She she fucked you. <laughs> and me and her really never had a multiple fight. Like we never fucking. But I couldn't. I oh. Uh, I wouldn't spit. I wouldn't spit on her if she was on fire. I. Uh, man, I am. I am totes drawn a blank. I have no idea. Anything, JP? I'm sorry. I I can't even think of any other names at this. Point. Wait a minute. Katie, Katie, Katie D. No, not at all. No, she God she was damn. fine. Who? I mean, tell us, dude. Jane Dormer. Dormer. Are you fucking kidding me? Jane. That mouthy, that mouthy cunt. Oh my God, she was horrible to Steve. How could you not get that? That fuck, if I could. Give me her initials. I wouldn't have gotten it. I would I have if she really? would. No, if she, if he would have said would've. JD, I would have said Jane Dormer. Jane Dormer attempted to take me down to the to the ground. Oh, I, I always like Todd Morris. By the way, I don't know what APOC is talking about. APOC, you should call in and stop beefing on the chat board, idiot. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just the destroyer. Yes, yes sir. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hey, you know what? My all my favorite people are here, Miss Daly. Mr. Jewish producer and Mr. Steve Rush. I'm just, I'm just tickled pink. Wow. You sound tickled pink, my friend. I am. I, I want to adopt pick. you. I want to adopt you, Jesse. I got married this week to somebody in Canada. Did you? Who? Joe Seeker. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I guess I don't know him. He's a, he's a mean man. He's from oh, okay. Canada. He's a Canadian. I, I was listening. Can I ask you a question, all of you? Yeah. Sure. Okay. You guys were saying that 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 Miss Daly can kind of sound like that uh, all that gay guy. Um, <laughs> uh, Chris. What's his name? Mister Nelson. Yes, Mister Nelson. And <laughs> I I would think because she's a woman, she wouldn't have too much trouble sounding like him. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Jesse, my love. <laughs> Jesse, don't you reckon? I mean, I mean, think don't about you it. reckon? Really don't reckon. you reckon? He said. He Jesse, yeah, don't but, say. But, don't remember. Don't say anything you wouldn't say to his face. FYI. Oh, I'd, I'd whoop his ass. I, I have would, no problem. Would. But, okay. but, but what I'm what I'm saying though is 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 is, is he really gay? <laughs> I asking. I don't know. He's flying the colors right now on his website, on his Spreaker.com. See, I knew it. He's... Oh, my God. I knew he was a goober smoocher. I knew it. <laughs> goober smoocher. He learns that out of the patch. Just ignore it. It's ugly talk. Hey, Stabby uh, McHugs finally showed up. Where did he show up That's about fucking time. All right. Let's call Stabby. We haven't yeah. called him all week. Call he won't, up. Let's leave he him, won't let's pick leave up. <clears throat> he won't pick He's not up. not going to pick up the phone. Nah, but we can leave him a message. He's too shy. Stabby, I miss you, brother. Here he comes. I do. Hold on. We're going to ring Stabby into this call. Steve, Cal stop call. lying. I miss him. He's funny. He, gets, he, makes the, he was great the, on the show that night. I don't know why he's so shy. He's got good pipes. He sounds good. Oh, he's too. Brings scared. content. He's a, he's a little angry, but that's fine. Damn you, Stabby McThug. McThug. Stabby McThug. Oh, I got a new picture today of Stabby McThug. Come to think Chris of it, Chris Nelson is all about the pickle. <laughs> well, I, I, never, I, I never got that. <laughs> what did you say, Jesse? 
I was just laughing. I'm sorry. No, it's it good. Sounds like you were getting hurt. Yeah, well, I probably was. <laughs> you so any luck with the with the with the nuts dropping? And have you heard yeah, of them? Yeah, what? I check them every day. Yeah, any I, like? I, mil- I know they're just. I know they're right there, just about to, just to drop into my little old sack here pretty soon. I'm sure. <laughs> That's horrible. Little sack. <laughs> <laughs> a little sick. cocoon. I'm even sick to myself right now. <laughs> that was just uh, bad. And I more went my little oh. sack. <laughs> it was drop. too. It was too medical, <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> well, where else are they gonna go? Put <laughs> him in his pocket. My jaws are hurting. I'm laughing. <laughs> No, that's not why they're hurting. I bet. Ha ha ha! No, you're you're now you're confusing me with Mr. Nelson. But why? Wait, wait, I don't understand how Chris Nelson is gay now. Too. Everybody seems to be gay. What the fuck is that? Don't, don't you think his voice? Doesn't he sound like a woman? Look, I've got no. He sounds reason, feminine. I've got, I've got no re- room to pick on anybody about a voice. I get that, but mine are because my nuts haven't dropped. It's, it's so funny how, how, how he talks like this. I get that. <laughs> I get that. Oh, I snorted. Oh, I love you so much, Jesse. You're so sweet. Jesse's the best. Jesse is the goddamn best. I, you know, I, I did a show. I was on the show uh, a few nights ago when it was, um, I think, uh, all four of us. Um, maybe uh, uh, somebody else I can't remember who but I simulcasted it on mine and I I was so impressed by Jesse that I named the show Jesse the Destroyer oh well thank you I got four hits thank you (laughs) (laughs) I got four hits I really really did a lot for you didn't I y'all want to see a picture of y'all want to see a picture of Wild Goose on webcam I was with webcam with him the other day day, and I, I screenshotted a picture of him yeah, sure. Sharing is caring. Do what? Sharing. Sharing is, is caring. So. Steve, don't little, say little this. Bar, no, little yeah. Barney, little Barney <laughs> moment there, because yeah, little baby, you know. That was horrible. Sharing is caring. Yeah, well, it's a, I have a grandbaby who loves that stuff. Wait, I'm trying to make it work here. Hold on, work, you piece of crap. Oh, see, I go right to yellow when you do that. I don't know oh, what the fuck's going on. So, is it? Is it screen sharing? No, ma'am. It was starting to, and then it stopped. It is. Something's wrong. I don't know what's going on. Y'all got to see this picture. And then it pulls my broadband right down the fucking half. It point. has nothing to do point. with your broadband because it's me just, I don't know. No, I swear to God, as soon as it showed up, my all my white bars went to yellow to, like, what, to alert what me. What bars that. do you have on your, are you talking about your modem? No, 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 no. Th- no, my that that's in another room. That's not in this. That's not the den. Are you talking You're about on, your router? I mean, I don't understand. No, no, no. The, on the Skype, on the Skype screen, <laughs> on the Skype screen. There's when bars? you're sharing. Yeah, when you see like, okay, I see an image of you. I see JP, and do I y'all see, see bars on your. And network? if you look at the bottom, it, you have the microphone that you can mute right there. The blue one, yep. the plus. You can add somebody. Hang up. You, right, right to the right of that are bars. When they're white, that means you have a good signal. You're good co- connectivity. Hello, when right it goes now. to yellow. Why not? Yeah. Yours are yellow? Not, yeah. Okay, so that means that you are on the verge of dropping. That's well, red would be on the verge. This, Ooh, no, this red red right. means you're going. Red means you're going. You have very little left. If any one more thing drops on there, you're gone. It's because I'm riding my microphone hot. I keep sitting on it because I'm like tilted to the left. But like this. sitting on your microphone, that's way too much in, information, sir. I know. It's so long. <laughs> oh, you know what? What is that? It's my Skype. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm just going to leave it alone and go back over here and just do something else. So, so he went to yellow too. So were you white? Uh, just, just out of curiosity, were your bars white? Uh, Where do you guys see all these bars at? I don't know. I don't know what they're talking about. On the all right. Bottom right. On the bottom right of your Skype. Skype screen. <laughs> your Skype screen. The show screen. Uh-huh. You have to be on our show screen. And, and you're in uh, you're in the room, so you could see yours. Just look down at the bottom. Oh, mine are all yellow. Okay, that's yeah. not it, good. It says it says call quality information. information. Is what that... 
So it's saying it's saying right now. I got just, I got no, whole I, full bars and it just says, says it just says they're yellow. Yeah, yeah it says someone's it computer speed someone, is affect. It says yeah. it says someone's computer speed is affecting the call. Yeah, what one of you our computers not, is doing it? And it's I, it's not this fucking beast. I know it's not. Uh, most likely, it's the call source. I would have to say maybe Debbie's uh, call is over overheating or something. That that's my layman's term for the problem. It's overheating. Oh, you're like a doctor then. Yeah. yeah. Nicely too, played, um, sir. So that thinks Debbie's still looking for the bars. No, I'm just sitting here <laughs> listening to y'all talk. There's no room for me to say anything. I found I'm sorry, the bars, I'm sorry. and if you and if you and if you click on them, then it then it tells you all the stuff. Be careful, yeah. it'll also eject you out of your seat, Jesse. Uh oh. That wouldn't be hard. I'm what I'm not you? bigger than a minnow. <laughs> a minnow. It's a minnow. Minnow. He talks so country. I love him. You reckon so? You I reckon. Jesse, you're the shit. I tell you what, you're the best. He's a boss Thank right there. You. You're welcome, Angel Baby. So, oh, exciting oh, oh, oh. news, huh? So you've got you've got you've got the little you got the little baby home. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. That's. I think that's pretty awesome, huh? He's a little tiny angel. He's a thumb sucker. Have you said his name yet? I don't remember. Or well, you not... we're trying to keep it. You know, a little okay. bit. A little bit. Private. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, let's sure call keeping it on. Think Leary. You're keeping it on the down low, right? Think yeah, Leary. Yeah, Jesse the baby. Think, <laughs> baby. think Leary. <laughs> Yeah, I understand. I already, I already know what the name is now that I'm now that you just said that. <sighs> well, my computer completely stopped working. I hear you you're, fine. I, you're perfectly fine. fine. Yeah, I know it's just locked up. It's it's Google, and it, it's something to do with Chrome, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but. I'm doing hmm. something wrong on. on it's Google. not you. It's Chrome and Max. They don't go together well. That's right. They don't. They do so, not. So, thing I could say is, is I would on, I would uninstall Chrome and no, just use I Google can't. straight. I mean, I I can't. It's like I I can't handle Safari. Safari makes my teeth itch, and that's the only other You're option. Wow, your teeth itch? <laughs> that's pretty weird to say. I use that shit at work now, and people are like, where the fuck did you pick that from up? From up. I'm tired. From up? I said, uh, yeah, I don't know what a from up is. <laughs> I said, no, that, that, that makes my teeth itch, dude. And he's like, he's like what, what? Your teeth itch? Who says that? I'm like, it's just this show I do. And it's fucking funny. They have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. It's okay. What else is new? So, Mr. Rush, what do you do? I am. I see. I don't like. I don't like to say He's too much about it. Full time babysitter. Full time mm -hmm. babysitter. I, I babysit uh, llamas for the zoo. Oh, do you really? <laughs> no. Oh. Um, yeah, I, I am a maintenance technician. Um, <laughs> Oh, okay. okay. I can't, can't see too much. No, I, that's isn't fine. that a I nice just, word? Just, isn't that nice way to say janitor? <laughs> I'm, I'm not a janitor. Technician. I'm a home technician. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll, 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 I'm a domestic engineer. I'm a surgeon. I'm a domesticated engineer. No, I'm joking. You're a domestic engineer. Yes, I am. I'm. A and you have a master's degree in that. I'm a domestic goddess. There you go. At thirty-two dollars an hour, they could tell. They can call me whatever they want to call I me. I don't care. I love your job. What are those those noises that Skype makes? Goes boop 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 boop. I don't know. It 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 has to be coming from you, right? Because you're the feed. Yeah, my oh. Skype is completely locked. That's when I click to try to to try to do anything on Skype. Yeah, I can hear it. Beep, That's why beep, we're beep. all running hot. I'm sorry. No, no, it's 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 all good. We could do this. Let's just keep talking. It's all working, though, right? Yeah, we're Absolutely. still on the air and everything. So yeah, that's all that counts. Call quality is perfect. It is. Oh, absolutely. So we were talking about Bill Wagoner earlier, and and what a fool he made of himself on Spreaker this week. I was astonished. I mean, I know Bill makes a fool of himself every time he opens his mouth, but this was record setting. What did he do? Oh my God! 
Tell him, Steve. Where do you, where do you start? Uh, well, well, first, he comes on Debbie's show. <clears throat> no, no, first he's on. No, no, no. He comes on my show and attacks that guy named Ed Hubbard. I mean, just fillets the kid. Calls him every name in the book. But Ed I mean, even a couple, couple. Yeah, that's that's. DJ, oh, no, DJ no, no. Ed Productions. Oh, I, I I saw him. Is is he a real DJ? I don't believe so. But uh, no, actually, and there was a, there was even a show prior to that where um, he was attacking Debbie, just completely, just trying to. With oh one angry yeah! Jew. Remember when he was on the One Angry Jew and he was calling me every name in the book and stuff like that. And and then yes, comes ma'am. on Debbie's show and denies it all. Totally every denied word it. Of it. Every word it of it. It never happened, Debbie. He it said it happened. wasn't me. It must have been a soundboard and all this kind of shit. And I thought, wow, this is scary. This is really scary. And, and then Debbie starts playing the audio clips, saying, "Here you go. Here you go, Bill. Listen, that wasn't me." She said, "It's your voice." And How then you he goes on. What you hear? Then he goes on. Um, after he comes on my show and attacks this kid named Edward, I mean, fillets him, calls him a retard, calls him a stutter, everything. Wheelchair then, retard. Then he goes on Edward's show and says that I am, that I caused the problems between him and Edward. I'm like, what? He basically oh. said everything that you can conceivably say negative about Debbie. Yeah, everything like from crazy Victor. Shit. To Heather, to yeah, he was saying all everybody. Of our real, he, he was saying our real names, and then he said that Apocalypse is Victor Montoya. I mean, I think yeah. he's. I think I think his cheese has slid off his cracker. Wow. Uh, I don't think. Yeah. He could, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just. Now, insane. I, I, I like that. This week, I, I had a conversation with him off the air, and uh, he, he's an interesting character. I and I bet say. you he was nice as can be. Correct. He was, of course. Yeah. Yeah. He was. Yeah. That's what he does. Off the, when he's on a like, if I called him right now and talked to him, we'd have the greatest conversation. Everything Michael would be perfect. Hood is Once not. the mic is hot, he's nuts. He does. I think the mic does uh, take yeah. his uh, cheese off the cracker. So Lord to... Lord Shay is in the chat room. Everybody, please stand. Uh, I am standing. Dun, oh, dun, is that Mister Bad Guy? Dun, 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 dun. No, he should he should have that 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 foreboding sound that whenever uh, what was his name Darth Vader appeared. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's some kind of nice good entry music because he is he is yeah. he's a legend man. I, lis- I listen to Mr. Bad Guy.